Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I thought I would do another weekly vlog because we've got some fun things planned this week um, and I wanna take you along for the ride. So I got changed. I've got ready for this morning. Today I actually went to Pilates this morning, but I just find it really hard to vlog because obviously it was like a new environment. I've never been to that studio before. So, but I'm going back tomorrow. So I'll vlog tomorrow when I go, but this is my little outfit I've got ready. I didn't wash my hair today. I just put some Batiste dry shampoo in it and then just got ready. But this is my outfit. It's going casual vibe. So this top is Brandy Melville. I've got Kaya the label joggers on, which says Kaya. My dirty, dirty Uggs. Um, they look, I don't know if I should maybe put the Tazzers on. Yeah, cause that is not cute at the bottom. I might put my Tazzers on. Um, and then I've just got this coat on from Club L London. Cause it's really, really cold in Manchester right now. And I've literally lost all my earrings. So that's a lie. Mum bought me these earrings the other day. Mum bought me these earrings the other day, so I'm going to put them on. Me and Mads, we're just going to go into town and get a blank street and do some shopping. So we're going to have a nice girly day and I'm excited. So let's go. Mads, you ready? Yeah. Let's go. We are off to blank street to, to start with. I got a call from Chin the other day and she said that their blank street in Notting Hill started doing breakfast items. They had like a bacon, egg, cheese, like McMuffin, and they had like all these different things like McDonald's now. So we're gonna go and see if they have them in. I there's like nothing online about these new breakfast items anywhere. I've never been. Literally, so I'm intrigued to see if this Manchester one has it in because Chin then went to a different Blank Street location in London and they said they're not going to get them in until next week. So, we're going to see if they have breakfast in or not. If not, we're going to get some different matches um, and iced coffees and try them because Maddie's never been before. I've never ever been. So, we're going to try, because um, I've, I've tried the blueberry matcha. Was that, you didn't, did you like that? It was nice, it was just so sweet. Like, yeah. I like my matcha sweet, sweet but that not was that like sweet. very sweet. Um, so I kind of want to try the strawberries and cream iced coffee. So. Oh, I've not heard of that. Before. Just pulled up and this guy just knocked on my window and gave us a little ticket. And it's until 1.40 and it's currently 1.05. So it's like, oh no, 2.40. We've got two and a half hours. Put that there. Thank you for free parking today. Let's go. Wow. Let's go. Here, we're here, we're here, it's here. Yeah. It's right there. Oh, we're pulling up, screw. So. Let's just pray they have breakfast items. Okay, we're here. We're just looking at the menu. They don't have any signs of breakfast items. I don't so. know why, I don't know why. I think the breakfast items are a no-go today. But I might just get a regular batch of vanilla and then I might get the strawberries and cream to try. I think that that as well. What, what would you want? Cream. Is the blue not nice? It's nice, it's just very sweet, like very, very I might get the strawberry and cream right Okay. Strawberry, thank you. Thank you. Enjoy. Ooh, the strawberries and cream have come. They look so, so nice. Yeah, that one's yours, okay? Oh my God, it looks so good. Don't forget that. And I'm just waiting for my matcha one. Okay, I got my matcha. And then we also got the strawberries and cream to try. But I don't want to mix it. Oh, because it's not clean. Don't mix it. Oh, really? But then it's all just purple at the bottom. Let me give that a minute. Oh my god. How good is that? But I've not had a sip of coffee in like six months. I know. Mm. It's got a very strong coffee flavour. Oh really? I can't taste that yet. Oh, mine takes I think super coffee. Oh, oh I've mixed it in now. Yeah, it's coffee now. It's nice. If I wanted an iced coffee that's sweet, I would get this. Yeah. But coffee gives me a headache, so I'm just gonna go for my matcha. Do you wanna try some of my vanilla match? It looks like the bar is off. Yeah. Proper black 
Turkey looks like. Tea. Me and Maddie were obsessed. Oh no, is that just the matcha one? Yeah. Where's the blueberry? I think it's one? actually discontinued. We used what to get this hell? matcha blueberry green tea. I'm going to go on eBay. I haven't had the bite off eBay. When they used to go visit Maddie at uni when I wasn't at uni yet, we would drink this tea religiously and then they discontinued it. I remember it used to be in Lidl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It used to be. Oh my and God, I used to go amazing. in with my ex boyfriend to go get that tea. And now we can never find it, but I'm all sad. So if anyone works for the matcha blueberry green tea brand, please please let us know if you just continued it. We found it on Amazon, but it says currently unavailable. But this is what oh this is what it was. Matcha with green tea. This was it. Green tea with blueberry, and it was the most oh, insane, insane tea you'll ever drink. I'm back, and I put my comfies. If you remember the Ibiza vlog, you remember this top. This is my uh, favorite top, and I thought I lost it. And I was so sad, but then I found it again. And then I've just literally got my joggers on. Um, but I'm back. If you, ow, ow, literally have to straighten my leg. I'm home now, but my knee is killing me because I literally decked it in front of Zara in Manchester. So if you saw me fall over, no you didn't. I was wearing my Ugg Taz ones, you know the platform ones. I twisted my ankle, fell headfirst onto the floor, and I've, I've really badly hurt my knee. Really badly. I don't want to show you because my legs are hairy. But like it's like super grazed. And like I think I can feel a bruise coming on. So. We had an injury today. But I thought I would. I'm due uh, to go to Boots. And like restock of like shampoo and all that. But I just don't have time. So. First I went to Space NK. Uh, I love Space and Clay. They're like my favourite, 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 favourite. I really picked up two very small things. I got the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm because I've seen such good things about this and I've used chintzies so often. Uh, oh, I didn't know you could get flavours, but there was only this one and I assumed it was vanilla. Turns out it's mint. Sweet mint. Oh, I thought it was vanilla one. It's okay. It's okay. Is this the right... Balm, yeah. Should we smell it? Okay, it just smells mint. Oh, I thought it was the vanilla one. My bad. Anyway, the formula is just like really nice. Anyway, and then last time I was going to get my hair done, Elle used this on my hair. It's the Color Wow Razor Root Thicken and Lift Spray. And I'm not going to lie, my roots were literally like this all day. Like, so I just picked up a little bottle it was only like £10 just I'm going to try it I'm not going to wash my hair tonight actually because um the hell I'm not going to wash my hair tonight because I literally can't be bothered but next time I wash my hair I'm going to use that anyway then I nipped into Lululemon because I've kind of lost all my leggings and I was at uh, Pilates today and I was like oh I was like I really don't 
feel cute in this outfit and I'm going again tomorrow. So I was like, I want a cute outfit. So I just picked up some black ones. Because my black ones have gone walkabout. So that's kind of a boring purchase, but it's necessary. That's actually all I got from town. I was supposed to go to Boots, but I just couldn't be bothered. So purchases of the day. Anyway, I'm gonna take my makeup off and make some dinner because we are going to the theater tonight to see Pretty Woman. Pretty Woman. Walking down the street. Mansa's just at the gym. I'm gonna make some dinner, take my makeup off, and then I'm gonna redo it or Maybe I should have just kept this on. No, it's fine. I'll redo it. I've committed now. I've committed. Mm -mm. But my favourite thing to take my makeup off with is the Garnier Micellar Water. I this, and I get these baby cotton pads, like the massive ones. I get them from Boots, and they just take off my whole face in one cotton wool wipe, so... That's my combo for taking my makeup off. Literally, it's all come off in this one single cotton ball. I posted a TikTok of literally what I just did, my injury. So if you want to go watch that, go watch my TikTok. It's Lily Baylor's Hello. Because um, I just posted on there. I'm trying to get better on. T I'm trying to get better on TikTok, but I think because I vlog, I've got the vlog camera out, and then I want to TikTok the same things as the vlog. But then I've got like two devices filming the same thing so i need to like film stuff that like i don't really put on youtube so i'm getting into a groove with it and it's coming along but i have posted a couple videos on that i just whipped up a quick dinner because we've been having what's that oh uh, we've had hello fresh tonight so i quickly whipped that up and now i've got to get ready at rapid speed because we're going to the theater and we have to leave in about 40 minutes and I don't know what I'm wearing and I don't know what I'm going to do with my hair but anyway, if anyone watched Vlogmas on my YouTube channel which was posted in December, the last Vlogmas uh, me and Maddie did a gift swap for Christmas and I got her Pretty Woman musical tickets um, to go watch it in Manchester and it's literally it's literally tonight so it's crazy how much time flies because I remember buying the tickets like oh god that's like end of Feb like that's gonna be miles away and now it's literally here so it's kind of crazy and um, if you remember the vlog she got me Niall Horan tickets Niall Horan is literally next Tuesday and I'm like well, what the hell I was like literally time flies so quickly but I'm really really trying to bronze my face up because I do be looking a bit pale on the face so basically maddie is always late like she will be late to her own funeral like she is always late right it starts at half seven uh, i've told her it starts at quarter past seven so we're getting there at seven because i want to get some nice snacks i want to sit down i want to go to the toilet maybe get a little drunk maybe a little drunk drunk so i've told her and um, we need to leave her at 6 45 like on the dot or we're gonna miss it because when we went to the Taylor Swift uh, Candlelight concert, we were so late and I, I was just so rushed because she, like, we were rushed. So I'm going to take my time, I'm going to get there early and she, she believes it's starting earlier than it is. But trust me, this is a top tip. If you have friends that are always running late, just tell them it starts earlier because that is what I've done tonight. Um, and it's going to work like a charm. Put some blush on. This isn't the best makeup look I've ever done, but... I feel like my hair takes us priority tonight. Oh, I've really blushed my cheeks. Oh, whatever. I'll tell you for context why Manny is always running late. I pretty much finished my makeup now. Just have to do the eyes. She's in the shower washing her hair. Like, that's just the difference. Um, That's just the difference between me and her. So she's literally got about 40 minutes to dry her hair and do her makeup. But, you know, if we leave a little bit later than 6.45, it's okay. Because, obviously, I know it starts a bit later. But that's her time schedule. So let's see what time we actually leave. Um, and I'll keep you updated. Okay, guys, my camera just died. But we're getting snacks. Snacks, snacks. And I need to go find some Coke Zero. Look how long my trousers are. I only wear these trousers in heels and I'm like... 
I also picked up a Coke Zero, which is mandatory. Guys, we're here, pretty woman, walking down the street, pretty woman. Guys, um, this is Maddie walking across the street. <laughs> Pretty warm walking across the street. <laughs> Get it? We did realize Amber Davis was in this. Um, she's so pretty. I'm so excited. We're so early because I tricked Madison, but I told her because she was like, Why is everyone not sat down? I said, I've been busted. Oh, guys, no. We're not distracting. I thought it was like a legal. It's illegal. Like it's illegal. It's going sex. No, I thought it was. No, like, you only visit the cinema. Like, you know when you like. I think the cinema now just don't care. Yeah, because I'm always like. Look at them hiding. Maybe they confiscate them. Okay. We're here. We're at the front. Say hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. 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 Hello everyone. I mean, I should be saying good morning. It is currently 4 p.m. Not even that. Half four and I've not vlogged today. Why does my hair always look so dark after I've washed it? Stresses me out, but look at the sun in this apartment. Look at the sun. Have you ever seen sun in Manchester before? Because I haven't. Such a nice sunny afternoon look. I love the way the light comes into this apartment. It's a bit um, messy, but it's just so pretty. Anyway, I've literally not vlogged today because I've not done anything. I've been to Pilates today. I was like, okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to go again because obviously I went the day before. But obviously because of my fall, I didn't realise that I've actually twisted my ankle as well. So it hurts to like move my foot out like that. So I was like, oh God. I really want to cancel it because my knee hurt and it's a, it's a lot of like if I'm on all fours or like my legs are in the air or like I just, I was in, I was just a little bit scared that I was going to be in pain. But, but I told the instructor yesterday I was going to her class the next day so I didn't want to cancel it and look like I lied to her and that I didn't like her class. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to go. I'll just say that like my knee hurts and my ankle hurts and I'm sure it'll be fine. When it was so hard but so good. I loved it. Came back, had a little bit of food. I'm actually not doing anything, but me and Saf are going to go up for some dinner. And we're just going to have a nice evening. So I thought I would start the vlog here. I've washed my hair. So I need to do like a full blow dry and full makeup. I'm wearing something white tonight. So I might have to wash this off before I leave. As I'm treating this as a get ready me, I'm going to show you what I usually put in my hair. Um... Oh my god, I can use my new super drug purchase from Color Wow today. Oh, I'm so excited. In the end, I like to put this John Frieda Frizzies cream. It gives me a nice smooth blow dry. I only put it on the ends and it smells really nice. I'm gonna use the Color Wow Razor Roots. Obviously, I got this yesterday. I also said I only need a little bit. Just spread that in my fucking eye. Perfect. Just blow dry my hair and put a roller in the top. I'm gonna try a little bit faster at my makeup today because I wanna, last time Safi picked me up, I was running super late because I hated all my outfits. So I'm like, no, I'm not gonna do that again. I'm gonna be super, super prepped, get ready so early and then I'll literally be sat downstairs waiting for her when she picks me up. So I'm gonna commence. I'm using my more tan shade because obviously I've tanned my neck, so I'm gonna make it match my neck. I find myself rushing quite a lot these days and it's stressing me out. So I'm like, I'm just gonna take my makeup at a glacial but efficient pace. So I'm all ready for when Sophie comes to pick me up because I don't wanna leave her waiting outside. Um, I think I know what I'm gonna wear tonight. I'm not even told you what we're doing. So I'm going out for dinner with Saf. Um, I've not seen her all week because she's not been very well. So usually we see each other quite a lot during the week because we have the same schedule, the same post-uni schedule. So we see each other quite a lot, but she's been a bit ill. So we're going out for some food tonight. We're going to Phoenix, that new Greek place. I mean, some people say it's Phoenix. I just always call it Phoenix because I pronounce the F as F, not Phi like phoenix because i'm sure if it was phoenix it would be spelled differently so i've just always called it phoenix but if that's incorrect 
if like you work there and then you're like no you're saying it wrong and it's really annoying please let me know because i've just been saying phoenix um and then anytime someone says phoenix to me and i say phoenix they're like oh i didn't know it was phoenix and i was like yeah but then they might have been saying it right the whole time i just i literally just don't know so please let me know if i'm saying that correctly but i went with chintzia last time and it was so nice we only had the starters like we only had like loads of like little small plates so i've not tried any of the mains like they've got like seafood pasta on there and they've got like lobster pasta i've not tried any of them so i'm gonna have i'm gonna try a main today because i'm gonna mix it up uh, but it's the most beautiful restaurant i like to feel like i've tried a lot of different restaurants in manchester and this one for like a more like nicer dinner is definitely my favorite like it topples ivy asia in my opinion or like whatever or like tattoo like it topples that for me but maybe that's just because i'm a massive lover of greek food um so i don't know but if you haven't been defo go it's so worth it um and i think i'm gonna wear a white blazer dress tonight i'm going a little bit dressy because i'm like it's friday night we are going out a little bit early we're going out at six because obviously stuff's not been very well so we're gonna do more of an early night which i'm not mad at because it's like still light outside which i am so obsessed with that summer is coming and the nights are just getting longer because when it's when it's when it's cold and dark and wet outside the thought of going outside is disgusting but now it's sunny still blue skies and i'm excited to go out and it's the first of march today if you didn't know so i feel like that's just the mood for march excited to go out um and i'm very excited to go out tonight so that's the vibe i'm gonna use my cream bronzer which is the refi one in shade tan this is literally a hip pan look at this this is disgusting i need a new one rapidly but i just think it works so much nicer it's just so creamy and so easy to blend so i love using it and it just gives me a little bit of like a base to the bronzer do you know what i mean it makes me look just that a little bit more like <sighs> on my face but yeah, no, what I was saying about my dress is I'm going to wear a white blazer dress, which you're thinking, isn't that a bit risky because you just said you fake tanned. Yes, it is. So I might have a quick body shower to wash off the fake tan before I put it on because I don't want to be sit there and I'm orange, rubbing orange on the dress. So I think that's what I'll probably do. Um, just have a quick shower after my makeup because... I don't want to be transferring that tan onto my nice uh, blazer dress. But it's from Club L London. Um, and it's really nice. I got it tailored last week because it was a little bit long. So she's ready. She's ready to wear. I just need to hoist the girls up with some boob tape. And it's perfect. Also, my battery is flashing red, which is really annoying. So I feel like I'm going to go finish off my base and then I'll come back and like do my eyes and my lips because I'm going to do a little bit more on my eyes tonight because obviously we're going out make sure that's blended I always like get scared that like I forget to blend my jaw contour and then I go out and I've got a line so I'm always like remember the jaw this is what the outfit is it's like this little blazer dress it's quite deep plunge so I was going to put boob tape on but I couldn't find any so this is just like a skims bralette and i think it works quite well and then it's just like got like cut out sleeves so it's really cute then it's got my little heels on so i will see you later i will see you later i'm gonna take you along with me on the small camera so i'll see you at the restaurant okay we're at Phoenix. it's a little bit orange um we've got pizza we've got time masata hummus it looks super orange on the camera We've got like fried halloumi, Greek salad, and then the calamari is over there by Sam. Say hello. She's been really ill this week, but she's feeling way better now. I've got my friend back. Good morning, my... God, I don't know what happened there. Good morning, everyone. It's now the next day. I literally passed out last night. We ordered so much food that my stomach was like... 
what the fuck is happening? And I was like, I have to go to bed. I'm so full. So I literally, I was in bed by nine o'clock. Uh, and I went to sleep. But anyway, I woke up this morning, did my makeup, and I've just put on a tracksuit. This is the Kaya label one. This is Kaya Studios, and it's like red and grey, and I've got the matching joggers. Um, because I'm actually going to Old Gym this morning to meet Safi again, because there's like a shop that I really want to go to down there to get some uh, Bulldog Ramen noodles, and we're going to just have coffee, go for a mooch. It is raining today, so... I thought I'd just keep my hood up um, and just put my Uggs on, which is annoying. I'm sad that the sun's not shining because it is now March. So I'm like, where is spring? Where is spring? But this is what I'm wearing. Really cute. Right, I'll see you in Altrium. I'm going to market. We're at this place called Tender Cow and I'm, we're getting some breakfast. That's what we're going for. She looks so good. Oh, it's so cute out here. We're sitting wow. here. It's not even, I've literally got a coat as well. This is our little seat. But yeah, this is the outdoor part of the Oldshire Market and I've never sat out here before. I've actually never even been to that market, have you? I've been in once, but never. I've never had food. No. I'm with Seth. Hello, we're back. <laughs> Your hair looks really nice. So I just put a curl in mine. But like some of my extensions keep coming out, so like my hair's gradually just getting a little bit thinner. You know what I mean? I need a refit. Mm. But we're in Oldsham today because we were here last weekend. No, we are here last week and there was like a really nice um, supermarket and they sell the Bulldog Ramen noodles and I have been like looking for them everywhere. I was going to order them off Amazon but then I was like, no, I just want to find them in person and I found them in the supermarket in Oldsham. So we've come back, we're going to have some breakfast and go and get our noodles. Are you gonna get a packet? I think so. You should we try this. It's so we nice. Really to get them. I mean, I've heard good things about the carbonara ones. Mm. It's like in a pink packet, the carbonara ones. Oh. And you like put cheese and a little bit of cream and a little bit of creamy like noodles. It sounds so like good. I'm gonna make that for dinner tonight. We've got a little hot chucky. Oh, I didn't get marshmallows in mine. Sad. Looks so young. I got um, caramel syrup. There. That's my new thing to have in hot chocolates. I need to try that. It's so good, but this one looks really nice. I've got cream all over my mouth now. I can't describe, but that tastes like a hot chocolate that you get like at a Christmas market. Mm, is it nice? But it's so good, yeah. We've got two sausage buns. They've arrived. They look incredible. Look at the height on that. Starving. It's got a bun, obviously, an egg, a sausage, and then it's got like some tomato. It's like brown sauce, I think. Is it? Yum. Some sort of like tomato. Oh my god, mine's slipping. <laughs> mine's slipping. <laughs> this is a leaning tower of. Burger buns. Are you gonna cut yours in half then? How are you gonna do this? I think I can't bite it because I hurt I don't think I can bite it. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try have to take it. my coat off. I'm to... just gonna cut it. Okay. Let's see how it goes. Oh my god. Oh my god. The egg's running. <laughs> this is like, <laughs> this is like oh, I've done it. breakfast food porn. Oh, you've done it. Oh my god. It's messy though. Ooh, it shows inside. Mm. Ooh, oh my god, it smells that looks so insane. good. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna eat it when I get some fun. Yeah, we're gonna literally demolish that. And I've already had my hot chocolate and it was insane. But no one's out here with us. I'm like, guys, <laughs> where's all our friends? Come and join us. To be fair, it's raining. <laughs> but there is a cover, so I'm like, oh. I can't believe it's March and we're dressed like this. No. Okay, we're here. It's called Cheap Market. Um, oh my god, I can literally see them. They're right there. There they are. So these are the carbonara ones. Then they've got normal cheese ones. And then... What flavour is this? Lime, it says. I mean, I'm going to go for the carbonara ones. And what are the bulldog? Oh, and then they've got like a big packet of these chicken ones. Might just get the carbonara ones. Hot chicken do that. Oh, they're extra spicy. All right. I get some rice cakes to try because this is what Michael Finch uses in his TikToks. These rice cakes. I'm gonna pick some of them up. Okay, I think I'm gonna get a couple of packets. So I'm gonna make them with Mads. I'm stacking up. There we go. 
I'm all stocked up and then I've got my little rice cakes as well. Okay, we're at the bubble tea. This is called Sip Chat. Look how cute it is in the supermarket. Um, but this is the menu. I might just get a matcha. So it's just a bit of a peach one. But what's the difference between passion fruit green, green tea and green and the oolong? Just, just ask. Just ask. Yeah. But yeah, I might just get an iced matcha latte. They have a rose matcha latte, but I don't know if I'm going to like that. It's like rose. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is a thing. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love these thick straws. Oh, you're going in there. Yeah, my suit. Come on. We got our matches. I love these thick straws. Same. Just getting that good content. <laughs> so we've got, this is mine. I just got an ice matcha. And then this is Saf's. What did you get? I got passion fruit with mango bubbles. Nice. And then there's also another matcha <laughs> here with tapioca balls in it. <laughs> but I don't like any balls in my matcha. But yeah, I can really chew from them. Yeah, I know what I mean. They're like the chewy ones as yeah. well. I like them ones because they're like the popping ones. Are you eating doing yours out? Yeah. Okay. Oh, spill it. Oh my god. Just like doing like one big one. Yeah. Oh my god. Last time I had this, <laughs> I dropped it all down myself. Let's not do that again. Let's <laughs> Thank you. Last time I had a matcha from here, I dropped it all down me. And I had green. It stained my top, you know. I can't get out of that top. I have to buy a new one. So oh, that is so good today. They make it super sweet for me. No, you didn't. Oh, it's only a little bit. Oh, it's only a it's little gone bit. down my sleeve. Oh. Is it nice? So well. I need to get into the fruit ones. That's what Mum loves. I just get mm. my matcha one. Comes nice with mango. Do you think it would be nice, really nice with some balls in it? Maybe I should have got some. I don't know. Comment down below That's what really um, nice toppings one. I should have in it. It's really I'm good get today. That next time. You should get it. I just got back and I've got my matcha, but I'm going to put it in the fridge for later because I'm really, really full from that breakfast. There we go. Oh, this is a cool angle. You've never been inside my fridge before. I've just got back um, and I'm just going to chill the F out because Maddie is not here this weekend so I've got the flat to myself and I'm just going to have a nice little chill weekend. I'm just going to put on some friends. So I'm just going to literally chill here with Bunny, put on some TV and then I'm going to go to the cinema later with Gwen. I did a workout class yesterday, the Pilates, and I went to a tone class which is like the one harder than the normal class and oh my god my like abs like my abdominals hurt today like even when i like lean down and like it's like oh so that's when you know it's doing something i'm just chilling had a lovely morning altrium is defo one of my favorite places i feel like if i had like a husband and kids i would move down there I love the hood on this hoodie. So big, look. So big. Right, let's put some friends, maybe friends, or YouTube. Let's see if Beta Squad's released their new video yet, but I doubt it. It usually comes out Saturday evening, so we'll see. Also, can we just talk about the fact, oh, can we just talk about the fact that Niall Horan bought out Shawn Mendes? No other words needed. Shawn Mendes is in London right now and Nal Horan bought him out. I am going to see Nal Horan on Tuesday because it, obviously if you've watched Vlogmas, that's what, that was Maddie's gift for me for Christmas. So I'm like, imagine if I was at the sh if we were at the show that Shawn Mendes was there. I am the biggest Shawn Mendes fan. Like I love Justin Bieber. I was definitely a 1D girl, but I was so much more a Shawn Mendes girl. I... I'm obsessed with him. I'm obsessed with him. I've been to see him on tour twice and then he cancelled his last one. I was so sad. But like I'm a Shawn Mendes girl through and through. 
I know every I know every single song on the handwritten album, like word for word. So I'm like, I was fangirling so hard when I saw that. I was like, imagine if he comes out in Manchester. I doubt it. I doubt Shawn Mendes will be roaming around Manchester, but it could happen. I mean, imagine if we bought out Harry Styles, because obviously Harry's from Manchester. That would be even better. But I doubt it. I really doubt it. I'm gonna see what I can watch on YouTube now. Okay. I'm watching Pretty Woman. It's literally my favorite film. Let's pause that and chat. Um, it's probably a couple of hours later now. Oh God. I'm taking my makeup off very shoddily. I think it's like all around my lips and eyes still, but I'm just not feeling very well. I've just had like a, my stomach's not feeling that great. I don't know if it's period pains or like I might have eaten something. I just, I don't know. I just don't feel 100% and I'm just super tired. So I'm just going to have a nice little rest here with Timmy. With Timmy. Oh yeah, I've really not taken my makeup off very well. I've really not taken my makeup off very well, but watching Pretty Woman on a weekend is like mandatory not actually chatted about the musical the musical was literally uh identical to the movie like they didn't miss anything out like it was so good like i i would go and see it again like on my own like i would go see it again it was incredible it was incredible but amber wasn't uh vivian it was another actress and she was amazing like she was such a good singer and we watched someone get proposed to. They were sat in a box at the side and it was a lovely older man and woman. And the the woman just like literally got down on one knee and, and like was like got a ring out. And it was so cute and the, everyone was crying, the man was crying, everyone was clapping in the theatre and I realised that women can propose to men on a leap year. And obviously that was, it was the last day of... Um, the last day of Feb, so that's why she proposed. I was like, oh, but it was just such a nice evening, so romantic, and then we went out for drinks after. So it was a really nice night, but I'm gonna watch the film again because I just love it so much. And I really love Julia Roberts in it. I'm off to the cinema. I've not moved, I've not got changed. It's kind of just a Saturday vibe for me. This is my Saturday vibe. I think my period's gonna start. Well, I think it has started. Well, yeah, it has. My period started. So I'm like, energy is so super low. We're going to see Iron Claw, but I'm going to go pick up Gwen now. Um, I might get popcorn. I don't know. I, like, I always like something to nibble on. Let's go, bitches. I picked Gwen up. We're literally the same person. We've got matching hoodies on. Oh, yeah. Hi, matching hoodies. Hello. Are you good, John? Yeah. So have I. But we're here, we don't know where the fuck we're going. Where are we? Hi guys, we always say this cinema is so weird. Because we're like in abandoned horror movie vibes. Like, like look at this. The this is the Odeon <laughs> It's actually so weird. <laughs> but we're just walking there. And it started four minutes ago. Are you getting popcorn? Um, maybe you turn it on. I might get popcorn. I'll are you sweet popcorn or salty? Today. I'm a bit of both, I think. I like the toffee one. Wait, you know, what like, the hell? Yeah. Look at the. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I look like you're done. I'm like, come on, mate. <laughs> but we're going up. Like, this is just like the weirdest thing I've ever been to in my life. Oh my god, I love it. Did you ever see? You drink it? I've never seen you drink that big before. <laughs> <laughs> I need a wing. I need a wing. Yeah, I'm going to <laughs> Guys, why is this coat just the size of me? <laughs> oh my god. I need a wee real bear. Guys. Like, um, this is like America sized dreams. Like, what the hell is scary? This? I'm actually shocked. Mmm. Oh, that hits different. Let's go. I think it's already started, but. Um, oh. Happy Sunday, guys. 
not gonna lie, this period, let me close that so you don't see the mess on the floor. This period has fully, fully killed me off. Like, I just got out of bed an hour ago and it's 12, like it's like half 12 and I'm just like, I feel so sluggish, so tired and I have no food in the house. So I'm gonna go to the shop, I'm gonna go to Boots because I'm feeling a bit better, I've taken some painkillers. So I'm just gonna have a nice wholesome Sunday and I'm gonna clean my whole flat and just have a nice reset for the week. Uh, Cause I really don't wanna wake up tomorrow and feel sluggish. Um, I really wanted to go to Didsbury today, but I just don't wanna get there and I'm in pain and like I'm not in the mood. So I think I'll save that and go next week. But I'm gonna go do some food shopping. I got back from the cinema so late last night, but it was, Iron Claw was so good. It was so emotional. Me and Gwen were both sobbing our eyes out. Like you kinda knew what was gonna happen, but you didn't think it was actually gonna happen. Does that make sense? And it's a true story, so it just hit 10 times harder, but Zac Efron was so good in it. Uh, I highly recommend going watching it. So this is my outfit. I've just got this AYM like vest on, uh, leather jacket. I put a hat on because I'm just gonna hide my face a little bit more. And then my Brandy Melville trousers, which everyone says they look like pajamas, but I'm just digging this vibe. And then my Ugg trousers. So we're gonna go and get some food shopping and then I'm gonna nip to boots because I've ran out of like shampoo, conditioner, fake tan, all of this, like cotton wool. I need to go and do like a big boots shop. So you can come with me. You can come with me and I need to like have some breakfast because I've not eaten anything, but it's really weird, maybe TMI, but when I'm on my period, I either can eat the whole house and I won't stop eating or I have no appetite and it's one of those periods where I just have no appetite I think the pain outweighs the hunger and I just have no appetite so I'm just gonna listen to my body and just eat when I'm hungry basically in the flat that I live in we have an underground car park um which obviously I park in or there's a car park like near like across the street and last night it was super late and I couldn't get into the car park so I just parked across the street. I went down today to like go get my car from the underground car park and I like went to my space and I was like, I was like, where's, I was like, like my heart dropped. I was like, oh my God, someone's stolen my car. Even though I literally had the keys in my hand and then I wrote as I parked outside. So that's just kinda like what's my brain on today. Uh, but let's go, we're gonna go to m &S today because I wanna treat myself and I just was walking across and I just had a vision of myself eating a roast dinner today on the sofa. So I'm gonna get some breakfast items. Um, I kinda want like, not a full English type, but I want like eggs, some bacon, some sausage, some beans. That's kinda the vibe I'm on. And then I'm gonna get some stuff for roast dinner. I don't know what time Maddie's back. Oh, I'm scared you're gonna fall, but I don't know what time Maddie's back. So I don't know if I need to make it for two. Or one. I'll just get the ingredients for two people and then if she wants a little bit, she can have a little bit. But I'm gonna put some Nile Horan on because we are going to see Nile Horan on Tuesday. I really wanna vlog it, but this vlog is gonna come out before I go see Nile. And then next week I had a fun video planned. So like, if you want me to vlog it, please let me know. I don't know what vlog it would go into. It would just go into a random vlog, but, oh, maybe I could do like a get ready me to come see Nile Horan and like vlog the whole night. Would you fancy that? If you if you want to see that, let me know. Cause, but I need to get learning. Obviously I know my Nan Horan lyrics, but I need to get learning them. So I'm like religiously, do you know what I mean? Please me, remember me. Ooh, one more kiss is all it takes. Pulled up, we're at my favorite place in the whole world. And look at the sun today in Manchester. Can you believe it? It feels like summer, but then it's like, oh, yesterday was so horrible. It's like the one day where like, I don't have plans to go sit outside in a coffee shop. It's raining. No, it's sunny. Like, why couldn't it be like this yesterday? Anyway, we're gonna go in. Okay, I'm just about to go and get my shopping. Um, and I usually, 
oh is this gonna stand up i usually go to self-service but i had the biggest basket of me and i was like you know what i'll go to the till and i was like i really want to get stuff for mother's day because i don't think i'll like go to the shop again so she like did all my shopping and then i was like shit i've not got a card like please can i just go and run and get a card and she's like yeah of course there was a massive queue building up behind me i like sprinted over to the cards i didn't know which one to pick so i got two these cost me seven quid and i was like oh my god but they are adorable this one says thank you for checking in for being man being you oh by the way this is your reminder that it's mother's day on sunday and this one says loving you mum with a hot hot air balloon i just thought they were really cute so i thought i'll get a two one can be from honey one can be from me starving so i picked myself up a chocolate twist because i'm not eating today so i'm gonna eat that because i need to go to boots so i'm gonna eat this go to boots go back have some breakfast because i'm working at my appetite so and i'm not in pain so i might as well do all my tasks while i'm not in pain and then go back when i'm in pain oh Are you okay? Do you need uh, dinner tonight? No, I'm not here at work. Okay. No. Well, I'll save you some. You can always have it for tomorrow for dinner or whatever. Oh. Thank you, my girl. Okay, I've just come into Boots and I was on the hunt for these. For the St. Moritz Tan Boosting Face Drops. I saw them on TikTok and they looked insane and I'm a massive fan of St. Moritz. Like, anything St. Moritz I will buy. I think it's the, I used the 24 hour tan. Um, yeah, it's over here. I use this one. Actually, I might pick a bottle up because I'm actually running out. Um, but this, these I need to try, so I'm picking them up. Okay, before I before I make my breakfast, I thought I'd just give you a quick little haul of what I got. I nipped into Boots as well. First from Boots, I got obviously my tanning drops, which I'm so excited to try. I'm like, and I should even try them tonight before bed. And then I got some shampoo and conditioner. I have extensions in, so I need sulfate free. So I got this, I got the Aveeno one, which doesn't have sulfates in. And I got some pads and tampons because, well, you know why. Uh, and then I got some cotton wool pads. I like to get these big ones because they're just uh, easier to wipe all over your face. And then I got some Nivea Soft. I used to religiously use this bad boy. This is two pounds. Two pounds. And then I saw a TikTok on it of like how it's really good. And I was like, oh my God, I forgot about it. So I've rediscovered it. So I bought it. Um, what else did I get? Uh, yep, showed you that. Got some Feminax for the pain. It wasn't a very exciting trip. Oh, and then some scrubbing hands and some deodorant. Not an exciting boots haul, I do apologise. M&S, I got quite a bit. So I'm just going to like turn it around and show you like this. Obviously I've got my Mother's Day card, got salad, popcorn, which is an essential. This is our little snack, like, um, snack, like, drawer in there. Got some salad, great. Uh, mozzarella, I got some more pasta. I got some rigatoni this time because I love that shape. Um, I got some nice bread for breakfast. I got some eggs, eggs, courgettes are in there. Then I got some streaky bacon, some broccoli, some cheddar cheese is in there. What else below here? Oh, and then I get this pasta sauce. When I'm feeling super lazy, I'll make my pasta with this because it is really good and then i got obviously got yorkshire puddings i get this chicken for my roast which is like so easy to cook i got some peppercorn sauce because i really want steak this week so i picked up some of that um i got some creme fraiche down there some jaffa cakes some beans and then there's chocolate brownie mix because these are the best chocolate brownies so i'm gonna put this away and make some food and when Alexa, play Niall Horan. Shuffling songs by Niall Horan on Amazon Music. Alexa, play Slow Hands by Niall Horan. Here's Slow Hands by Niall Horan on Amazon Music. Yeah. 
Also, for the for the nail horn concept, I want to get an I Heart Nail top. Uh, I might have to get on Amazon. I don't know if it's going to come in time, but how cute would that be? If not, I don't really know what to wear. I'm kind of struggling, so I might have a look tonight in my wardrobe to see if any inspo pops up. But I'm just making my roast. A lot of time has passed. I've watched the Manchester Derby. I've kind of seen Danny running around. I cleaned the kitchen a bit, even though it's literally a mess again. I hoovered up. Proud of me. But I've got my roasties and my chicken in the oven. And I literally just wait for half an hour. And then I need the cauliflower cheese out. I don't even know. I think I need to put this in now, actually. Um, some mush, not these really mashed potatoes. Some Yorkshire, but they can stay in. And then I need to get the broccoli out. Where's the broccoli? There it is. What else do you have in a roast? I feel like I'm missing something. Chicken, potatoes time two. I feel like I'm missing something. Chicken, roast potatoes, veg, dauphinois, Yorkshire pudding. I feel like I'm missing something. Guess we'll find out. I don't really know what happened last night, but all I know is that I put my camera on charge and then I forgot to vlog my whole entire roast. Literally my whole roast dinner. I forgot to vlog me filming it, me eating it, and me going to bed. I don't know what happened to me last night. I think I was just so tired and just like, I just wasn't with it. So I really apologize. I'll insert a picture here of my roast. And it was amazing, but, but it's now the next day and I'm gonna end the vlog here. Because it actually is Monday, it's actually today, which you should be watching it today. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed my little weekly vlog. Um, I love you all so much, and I'll see you very soon.